Lesson 2.2b, Writing a Number in Scientific Notation. To translate a number from standard notation to scientific notation, we can count the number of hops the decimal point moves. So for writing large quantities in scientific notation, when the number is greater than or equal to 10, we use a positive exponent. We have 6,200. We count the hops, 1, 2, 3, to put the decimal place so that it would be between a ones place and a tenths place. We get 6 and 2 tenths times 10 raised to the third power. The three hops, that's our exponent. The decimal point moved three hops left. The distance from Earth to Mars is about 140 million miles. Write this distance in scientific notation. Well, the decimal point needs to land between the ones place and a tenths place like this. We count the hops. There's eight. So our exponent is going to be eight. We remove all these trailing zeros in the decimal number and we write as a multiplication equation with 10 to the eighth power. We have 1 and 4 tenths times 10 to the eighth power. Now, when we see greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10, what does that mean? Well, it includes the numbers from 1 through 9 and 9 tenths with the 9 repeating. As long as it's less than 10, it could be 9.99999. There will be a single digit number to the left of the decimal point right here, this single digit, and the remaining numbers to the right of the decimal point. In this case, there's a 4. And all the trailing zeros are removed. We have 1 and 4 tenths. We used 8 decimal hops to get our decimal point between the 1 and the 4. So we have 1 and 4 tenths. Now that we have a number greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10, we divide. This number is the divisor, and the original number is the dividend. We do 140 million divided by 14. Because we have 1.4, we move the decimal point over in long division, so it's a whole number here as the divisor, which means we need to move it over in the dividend. And 14 fits into this 14 one time, we get a zero, which means the rest of the quotient is going to be zeros. We're going to have eight zeros. We use this step one decimal number as the divisor and the original number as the dividend. We convert the quotient to a power of 10. We have a one followed by eight zeros. That's going to be 10 to the eighth power. It has eight zeros. It's 10 to the eighth power. Now, for step three, we write a multiplication equation using our results from step one and step two. We get one and four tenths times 10 to the eighth power. Here it's telling us to circle the numbers correctly written in scientific notation. Do you remember what we were told? That we needed to have one digit here, then the decimal point. So this has two digits. It's got something in the ones place and the tens place, so that's not in scientific notation. This has something in the ones place, but it's a zero, so it doesn't count. It needs to be greater than or equal to one, and zero is not greater than or equal to one, so that's not in scientific notation. Here we have seven and nine tenths times ten to the fifth power. Yes, we have a digit that is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10, and this is written in scientific notation. Now look at this one. Oh, this is in the hundredths place, so that's not in scientific notation. This decimal is in the wrong place. Here we have 1 and 4 hundredths. We have a digit that is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10, so that works. That is written in scientific notation. So we can quickly just look and see if there's one digit in the ones place, then the decimal point, well, 
Here, we have 30 and then the decimal point, so that's not scientific notation. This has a 1 here and then a decimal point, so yes, this is in scientific notation. Do you see how quickly we can do this? We have 6.003. Yes, we have a digit in the 1's place that is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. This is in scientific notation. Here, we have a 1 in the 1's place and a 1 in the 10th's place. That's not scientific notation. This is not scientific notation. So we had one, two, three, four that were correctly written in scientific notation. We could easily identify them because we look at this digit, then the decimal point. This needs to be greater than or equal to one and less than ten. The decimal point goes between the ones place and the tenths place. Let's quickly walk through a few more examples. It's telling us to convert the standard notation numbers to scientific notation. The first one is 11,400. We count the hops to put a decimal point in between this digit and the next digit. So we would have 1.14, 1 and 1400 hundredths. We've got four hops. We write it as a multiplication equation as 1 and 14 hundredths times 10 raised to the fourth power. Our exponent's going to be a 4 because we did four hops. Here we have 790. We count one, two hops. Our decimal point is going to go here, so we have 7 and 9 tenths. And we write it as a multiplication as times 10 to the second power because we have two hops. Isn't this easy? Here we have 23,800. We count the hops to put the decimal point between the first digit and the next digit. So we have 2 and 38 hundredths times 10 to the seventh power because we counted seven hops. We just count the hops to find the exponent. We can also use long division and just divide 23,800, our original number, by 2 and 38 hundredths. Just remember, if we do it this way, we're going to need to move this decimal point, which means we're going to have to add a couple more zeros to the back of the dividend. When working with decimal multiplication, the dot used as a multiplication symbol can be confused for a decimal point, especially if we're not careful how we're writing. When writing scientific notation, we use this big X as our multiplication symbol. If we're not careful and we have 1 in 47 hundredths times 10 raised to the fifth power, that can be confusing, especially if we're writing quickly and our multiplication dot ends up being a little too low, that can be confused as a decimal point. So 1 and 47 hundredths times, with the big X, 10 raised to the fifth power is correct scientific notation. We can estimate numbers written in scientific notation. Here we have 4,203,000, and it's equal to 4.203 times 10 raised to the 6th power. Since this 2 tells the 4 to stay the same when we're rounding, we can estimate this as approximately 4 times 10 to the 6th power. And we just get rid of these. We just round up or down using the tenths place. Here we have 89 million. We can write it as 8.9 times 10 raised to the seventh power. This 9, since it's 5 or greater, is going to tell the 8 to round up to a 9. And it's approximately 9 times 10 raised to the seventh power. Okay, we're finished with part B. We're going to move on to the next part, 2.2c writing a number in standard notation. As I said in the last lesson, 2.2a, it's very easy to just count the hops and use that number as your exponent, your power of 10. But it is good to know how to do the long division way in case that comes up on a test or homework. Have a wonderful day and join me for 2.2c. Bye.